<laughs> there we go. We got the license plate for it. We got it all wired up. We've got Cody's go-kart, the bike, the Batmobile, and this is gonna be our actual first maiden drive. We're gonna drive around town a little bit and then we're gonna head out to the highway, see how well this thing handles. I'm about as excited as a, as a fox in a hen house. <laughs> hey, Allie, you wanna come with us? We're gonna go for a drive with everything loaded. <laughs> <laughs> my toy knife. Hi, Is that your toy knife? Why do you have the glasses on? To look smart. To look smart? Oh yeah? Oh, I see. Or derpified. Or derpified? I'm back your car. Derp, derp. Derp, derp. What? Oh, Ashley's coming along with us? Where is she? Ashley? Where is she? Oh. Come on, Ashley. You have to get off. You can't be on there. Go on, Mom. Jump in. Just drive a little. She'll go in. Right back there. Huh? What? Right back where? No, no. Jump in the front. We'll go for a drive. Allie, Cody, you guys get in too. But you guys have to sit in the back. Okay, everybody. Uh, I don't know if you can see me or not, but it's getting dark here. We're heading on out to Lolo, going Wait. about 55, 60 miles an hour. The trailer's not bouncing or anything. It seems to be handling pretty good. So I'll turn the camera on here when we get back to the house. Well, guys, that was about fun. Put the camera down. Uh, we we drove out to Lolo, which is just south of us drove out there came all the way back uh, I think the fastest I was going about 63 um, no problems at all uh, I did notice that uh, when I was when I was going uh, when I would start to drift one way or the other uh, it would it was more pronounced and uh, I felt a little leery there was a few curves that you have to slow down to 45 miles an hour that was a little freaky. Um, I'm still scared about this thing teetering, you know, like a three-wheeler, like a three-wheeler does when you turn around corners. I'm still kind of scared about that kind of stuff. But it doesn't tilt or shift or anything like that. I don't know why I'm scared about that happening, but I am. So um, I take it a little slow. Tomorrow, I think what I'll do is I'll probably go out and drive around town, uh, drive around Missoula. I have to take the whole setup down to some place where I can have somebody weld on that coupler so I can put the jack on and uh, I definitely want to get more lights and more reflectors on this damn thing because uh, I've noticed I noticed that when I was driving I was looking at my rearview mirror you know it's dark outside now and you couldn't see anything except for the my trailer rear lights so uh, I would like to get some more uh, like amber LEDs or something like that put along down the side of the trailer I'd like to do that pretty happy about the build so far Some of you who have gone over to my Facebook know that I'm building this little thing right here This is just a simple little side project that I'm working on. It's not a focus Yeah, it's a little uh, smelter uh, I thought the last time we went down and brought aluminum back to the Back to the recycling center, uh, we had a whole bunch of bags of cans. My whole truck was filled up, Crystal's truck was filled up, and I'm like, you know, it would be kind of nice if we did something like what One Pug does and just melt all of my aluminum down. I mean, I don't have, you know, I don't go out of my way to go out and find aluminum and stuff like that, but if I do have some or I find some somewhere, then I can at least take it home. You know melt it down into like bricks or something because that's all my plan is to do I took a little, a little old axle off of one of those uh, electric lawnmowers you know that you plug in <laughs> somebody brought me one of those things and I just parted the hell out of the thing so I have the, the front axle or maybe that's the rear axle I can't remember but anyways I got it welded onto the bottom and then I have uh, on the front I have just a piece of angle iron with a little Foot welded onto it and uh, this thing is about oh, where's my tape measure at this thing is about uh, it's about 20 inches high 
and it's about uh, 14 inches wide so yeah I think what I want to do is I'll put in maybe like a one or two inch wall of uh, perlite and cement uh, the the fort you know that cement that you can actually get hot so I can't even think of what it's called right now but yeah take some of that and mix perlite into it make an insulated area have a canister and then put in my uh, container to put aluminum in I think that'd be kind of cool have to cut a hole in the side leading in and you know all the other craziness but this is not really a focus this is just 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 something to mess around with you know it's not like I'm gonna bust my butt to get it done or nothing heck uh for the time being I'll probably just use it as a rolling garbage can yeah now the other day uh when I went down and like I told you I went down and got the uh VIN number for it <laughs> and uh called the PD up the next day made a little tag stuck the tag on there and uh officer showed up and you know he was you know kind of sore you know he was just not quite all there when he got out of the car and he came over and he was like yeah I go I go you I go you're looking kind of rough there guy he goes yeah he goes uh, I was one of the officers that responded down to the uh, the hospital last night now this was yesterday and I go, well, what was that all about? Apparently some lady, it was a lady, freaked out out there at the hospital, ended up hurting like three or four cops who showed up, ended up setting fire to the hospital. And uh, yeah, it was crazy. It was on the news and everything. I didn't even hear about it until he was telling me about it. And then I looked it up. Kind of nuts, man. The lady ended up going crazy on the guy that she was in the car with, and he took her to the hospital, and she was freaking out at the hospital, and I think they eventually had to, like, beat her in the head with her nightstick. I think they had to do that, you know, knock her unconscious, and then, like, dope her up with some morphine or something. Who knows? But anyways, this officer was like, yeah, okay, he goes, uh, I thought he would have at least, you know, checked the lights, you know, looked at the axle, make sure that the axle was rated right, you know, actually inspected the trailer. But he just was not in the mood to do anything. <laughs> he came over and he looked at the bin number. He looked at the paper. Filled out the information. He goes, okay, here you go. And he left. I was like, wow, man. That guy must have been really not in a very, you know, chipper mood. You know, because I, I even, as, as he watched, as he walked away, you know, he was like, like real stiff. You know, his back was real stiff. I was like, jeez. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> But anyway, so we went down today and got the trailer licensed, 86 bucks. I thought it was 68, no, it was 86. Man, but it's a lifetime thing, so that's cool. Don't have to, don't have to pay that crap again. And I uh, got a lot of the area on the side of the trail, on the side of the shop here cleaned out. All I gotta do is go in through there with the weed whacker, and then yeah. Just got a few other things here, so hopefully, hopefully, by the next video I put up, which will be next week, uh, I'll be jumping right back into the full screen machine again, because I want to get this thing out of here, I want to play around with it, I want to romp on it, I want to I want to flip it down the, hot, down the street, okay, well maybe not that, but you know, I at least want to have some fun with it. So also, to find out more information about this trailer, you can look down below in the description of this video, and it'll give you some more information on the kit. Uh, how big I made it, that sort of thing. So, and it'll also give you links over to my Facebook where you actually see more pictures of my progress of what I did on this. But anyways, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. I'd like to say welcome to all my new subscribers. Hello, everybody. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.